Hello everybody, this is Gamergar and welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. For the purposes of today's video, we are going to talk about the top 8 quality of life mods that you can install into your game that will make life a lot easier for you. Most of these mods are great time savers. Now these mods won't help you cheat in the game but they will save you a lot of time, especially doing a lot of specific tasks. Let's start with the very first mod today. Now, all these mods can only be tamed if you have the PC, so if you have a switch, they might be a little bit more difficult to get. The first mod here is called the Harvest with Sight mod, and the reason why I'm starting with this mod is because I've received a lot of comments over the past couple of videos where people have asked, you know, how do you, how can you use the sight to harvest these crops? Now, there are certain crops in the game and you do need the sight to harvest them, but this mod will allow you to harvest all crops using the site now most of these mods are very small in size they're only a couple of megabytes so you know when you download them they download more or less straight away and they're very simple to install there's tons of guides online that will show you how to install these these mods also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so stardew valley content is uploaded mondays wednesdays and fridays so if you like stardew valley content you'll absolutely love this channel as we can see here now i'm using the site and look how quickly you can harvest all these crops not only does it save you a lot of time in game but it also saves you a lot of, a lot of time in real life as well especially if you have thousands of crops like i know i know i had one farm there where i had literally three thousand pumpkins on it i was doing a challenge and I actually handpicked all the pumpkins and it took me almost a full day in game to harvest them all. If I had the site, I would have had it done in, in, in a matter of in game hours, no problem at all. So that is the lovely benefits of using the site map. The next map we're going to talk about here are the, it's the EXP bar for skills. The great thing about this mod is that every time you skill up in the game, you won't take a penalty to your energy the next day. So let's just say, for example, you were out mining and you got the exhaustion debuff and you didn't, and you knew the next day you were going to start with half energy or even less. This mod will show you how close you are to getting to level up. So if you're very close to getting to level up in one of your skills, you can go at that extra at that extra bit further and you can even stay for the whole night knowing you'll have full energy the next day all you have to do is go into your skill bar here and if we look at foraging there i just picked up a couple of truffles it'll it'll show you a little progress bar but it'll also show you how much xp you need before you get the next skill up this is an absolutely amazing mod if you're looking to uh, get the most out of your days Next mod we're going to talk about is the NPC map location. So I actually watched another YouTuber. Her name is Emolution. Shout out to Emolution. <laughs> and she uh, she used this mod to, to show her where the NPCs are in Sergio Valley. So I thought it was a great idea to download the mod myself and to give it a go. So today is Robin's birthday and I just got some spaghetti for her there. And if we look at the map, it'll show us that she's in her shop at the moment. But if you look close, it'll also show you where all the other NPCs are. So this is especially handy for that quest you get at the very start of the game where you have to talk to everyone. Um, you can just pull up the map, it'll show you where everyone is. It's so handy and it will save you huge amounts of time to, You know, when it comes to tracking down these NPCs to talk to them. So let's go to Robin right now and give her her lovely spaghetti. There we go. Just remember as well that when you give someone a, um, something that they love on their birthday, you, you get a huge friendship multiplier. It's a great way to get the hearts up. Next up, let's talk about purchasing multiple animals. This is a mod I use always, especially if I'm creating videos and I need to fill up barns very quickly. You can basically select how many animals that you want to purchase. Click on the animal. Now, as we can see here, I clicked on the coop and that's one duck installed. As you can see, it doesn't leave the interface. It stays in there. So you can just click on the coop again and it will install the next animal for you. No problem at all. I mean, you, you, you can... If you have, for example, three coops or three barns, you could click on 36 and you could just spam them all in within a matter of seconds. It's it, it's so handy. The next mod we're going to talk about, it's called the Simple Crop Label Mod. And basically, if you if you right click and hold it over the crop, it'll tell you what the, what the crop is. The best way to use this is, for example, if you're putting down mixed seeds. Now, sometimes... Um, you know with the mixed seeds you might not be able to realize what the crop actually is when you're planting the mixed seeds so we just have the mixed seeds planted here right now let's right click over one and see what the crop actually is so this one as we can see it's a cauliflower this one is a potato 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 <laughs> this one's a parsnip more potatoes more parsnips more cauliflowers 
What's really handy about this is that if you if you brought your mixed seeds to Ginger Island, right, and you wanted to get pineapples, if pineapples didn't turn up that day, you could just reset your day, plant the mixed seeds again, rinse and repeat until you know you have a pineapple. Next up, let's talk about the most overpowered mod in the game, in my opinion. This is Automatic Gates. I mean, look at that. How many times have you opened up a gate in this game only to have your animals leave and wander around the farm? It's just so, <laughs> I mean, it's just so irritating sometimes because you could have this lovely farm, you want to show it off and you want to show people that, ooh, look how organized your farm is. You have all your animals in lovely pens only to see one or two chickens or one or two uh, pesky little cows just roaming around the place and it just ruins the whole aesthetic of the farm. Well, you never have to worry about it again with the automatic gates. How many times have you, have you clicked on a gate and, and it's popped off? And you, have to, and you have to put it back down. <laughs> Next up, we have enemy helpers. This is so handy, especially for the more formidable enemies that the game has to offer. Let's let's take a look at these red slimes. The, like, the thing about the mines, I find, is that when you go from the mid-tier down to the bottom tier, it, it, it's like getting thrown into the deep end, you know? Because the red slimes are probably one of the first enemies you're going to find in this game that when they hit you, they literally take half your health bar away. You know, but when you have the health bars like this, you know, it gives you a bit more confidence to fight something, especially if it's almost dead. So that's basically it. That's all the mods I have for you today. I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I'll upload the next Stardew Valley video in the next day or two, as per usual, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel thus far, please do so. It'll help me out lots. Um, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified for my future videos. And as always, have a great day.